and welcome back to the Living Library, where we come to learn from God's living and active word. In just a little bit, you all are gonna learn an amazing and true Bible story. But before we get to that, I was wondering, do you want to play a game with me? You do? Great. I am thinking of a character that's make-believe. Let's just pretend. If I give you three clues, can you guess what make-believe character I'm thinking of? Let's find out. This character is orange. Hmm. This character has blue stripes. And this character has big green eyes. Do you know what make-believe character I'm thinking of? Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> That's right, it's Buddy from Dinosaur Train. Great guessing, friends. Now that you've guessed my make-believe character, let's get ready to hear a story that is true. Turn on those listening ears and get out your quiet library voices. And let's get ready for our Bible story today. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Living Library. My name is Miss Paige and I am so excited that you are all here to learn more from God's living and active word. That's right. Friends, my name is Miss Elizabeth and I can't wait to share another amazing and true story with you about Jesus' life on earth. I just love learning about Jesus. Hey, why don't we wake up BookBot and see what our word of the day is? It always helps us with our Bible story. Friends, can you all say, what's the word, BookBot? What's the word, BookBot? Hello, friends. It sounds like you are ready to learn. Today's word is healer. A healer is someone who makes people well again. You can learn more about a healer in Mark chapter seven. Goodbye. Thanks, BookBot. I don't know about you, Miss Elizabeth, but I'm really excited to learn more about a healer. I think it's time to look into God's true word. <gasps> Friends, where do we find God's word? The Bible. That's right. Friends, which book is the very best? The, the Bible. Bible. The, the Bible. Bible. I, I said, said which book is the very best? The Bible. The Bible. Bible. You've got it. The Bible. God's true word is the very best book. Let's jump in. <laughs> Much better. Okay, everyone. Now, BookBot told us to look in the book of Mark, chapter seven. Remember, friends, Mark is one of the gospel books of the Bible, the ones that teach us about Jesus's life on earth. Friends, I love these books because they are where we find all of the amazing miracles that Jesus did. Whoa, what's all this excitement about? I thought libraries were supposed to be quiet. Oh, well, hey, Walter. I'm sorry to bother you, but we were just going to learn about another miracle Jesus did today. Oh, well, that is exciting. Since I'm here, I think I'll stick around and listen to the Bible story. I just love learning more about who Jesus is. That sounds wonderful, Walter. Okay. Now, today we are looking in the book of Mark, chapter 7, 31 through 37. Now, Jesus was traveling down to the Sea of Galilee, and some people brought a man who is deaf and mute to Jesus. This means that the man couldn't hear or speak. Now, all of the people begged Jesus to put his hands on the man. Put his hands on the man? What does that mean? <laughs> well, that's a really good question, Walter. Okay, so Jesus had performed many miracles by now, and one of the things he was known for was being a healer. Do you guys remember what a healer does? That's right, a healer is someone who makes people well again. So by asking Jesus to put his hands on the man, the crowd is asking Jesus to heal the man's ears and tongue. Oh, I get it, so did Jesus do it? Did he show everyone that he was a healer? Well, it says right here in the Bible that Jesus took the man away from the crowd. Then he put his fingers in the man's ears and touched his tongue. After that, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, be opened. After that, the man's ears were opened and his tongue was loosened. He could hear and speak. Friends, when the others saw this, they were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. 
He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Wow, it sounds like Jesus is a really good healer. That's right, Walter. Now, when Jesus healed this man's ears and tongue, he didn't make it so the man could say a few words and hear a little bit. He healed him completely. He could speak and hear just like you and I. Now, only the Son of God has power to do something so miraculous. Oh yeah, this month we're learning that Jesus uses miracles to show us who he is. What else can this miracle teach us about Jesus? Well, we know that not just anyone can do miracles. So with this miracle, like all the miracles we are learning about, Jesus is showing us that he is the son of God. But this miracle also teaches us that Jesus is a healer. Friends, did you know that Jesus heals all of us too? So you mean when I get hurt, Jesus will come heal me too? Well, that's not quite the kind of healing I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is Jesus healing our hearts. Friends, our hearts are sick with sin. We make bad choices and do things we shouldn't do every day. But when we love Jesus and follow him, he heals our hearts and helps us to turn away from sin. Friends, Jesus loves me forever. Jesus gave up his life. He died on the cross to heal our hearts from sin. That's so amazing. Jesus healed the man's ears and tongue, but he heals all of our hearts too, Miss Elizabeth. That is exactly right. Well, hey, Walter, before you go away today, can you tell us what you learned? You bet. I learned that Jesus is a healer and the son of God. He healed a man's ears and tongue and he heals our hearts. That is so true. Well. How about you, Miss Page? What did you learn today? I love hearing about the miracles Jesus performed and learning more about who Jesus really is. Today we got to learn that Jesus really is a healer. How cool is that, friends? Jesus can heal people's bodies like the man in our story, and he can heal our hearts. Jesus loves me forever. He gave his life to be our great healer. Let's remember more about who Jesus is by going over our memory verse, friends. But who do you say that I am? You are the Christ. Mark 8, 29. All right, friends. Well, it is time to do our special poem and pray. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your great big love. We know that we can always trust in you because you heal our hearts hearts. Amen. All right, friends, it is time to sing and dance. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset, His love is still forgiving me. And it's all
little bit. Hello again, friends. Let's take a moment to remember what we learned. Today, we learned about Jesus healing someone. Friends, this miracle was so amazing because not only did Jesus heal that man's body, but Jesus also heals all of our hearts from sin. Friends, Jesus loves me forever. He gave his life so that he could heal our hearts from sin. Isn't that amazing? I hope you can remember that all week long. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let us know by telling your parents to hit the thumbs up. And to never miss an upload, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you never miss another video of ours. Well, well bye, see friends. You guys.